guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm your girl christine putty and i'm all about everything anything you could possibly think of so today's youtube video is all about small youtubers it's actually a small youtuber tag so i'm going to be answering questions that as a small youtuber and basically everything linked to my channel as per se just for like why i chose this why i decided to start my own youtube channel like all those type of things and also how my journey as a small youtuber is so you can pick out the questions and choose them for yourselves if you want to do your own youtube channel and you need questions you can take the questions as much as you want this is all about everybody growing each other and all everybody growing your channels so yep i just like the sun right now so i just set in this direction so y'all can see me literally to be honest <laughs> but anyway let's get into the video okay so let's start with the questions and the first question is what aspire you to start making videos so the whole reason for me to start making videos it doesn't start like recently with youtube i actually did study in a field of content creation digital communication project management all that so it has been my passion for years to be a writer to be a communicator to be a content creator to be um a digital communicator so I actually did go to school to study for what I'm actually trying to do <laughs> but not specifically digital communication I did communication as and I did law and all that so for me to actually start creating a YouTube channel was actually because I love this I love making videos I love making images and I was just doing it for fun you know going on instagram and i always watch youtube but it never clicked on my word you can actually make a youtube channel about all the things that you like doing i mean i like traveling i like taking videos and making short videos and making the uploading thing on social media then why not take it to youtube so what actually inspired me was all the other youtubers that i've been watching like i keep watching you guys who's watching me i also want people to watch me to hear my story i mean i can't keep writing for other people being a ghostwriter and taking videos of them and editing it for them but i don't do it for myself you know so that actually was the whole reason that pushed me like create your own channel keep watching other people's channels your own so that was the whole reason of me creating this channel and not only for just for fun but also for educational basis i always like helping people and i'm always the type of person that advises people I, like i am just that person let me help you let me do things for you so when i create such videos like when i'm like helping people correct the youtube like as if i am a professional <laughs> but i just feel like what i do i should share with other people it shouldn't just stay with me you know what i know the knowledge that i gain i share it with other people so that's the other reason why i created this platform like tutorials and stuff i just love all that so the second question is that how long you've been on youtube and have you had other channels i've been on youtube ever since june july 2023 and i wasn't really like let me say educated properly i thought it would be as easy as the way i'm watching other people's channels you know i mean in the in the field that i'm working in in the place that i'm working in we don't just be like you focus on that alone it's given like each person has a certain field that they deal with and a person with a different expertise you know so it's like you take that part i'll take that part so i might be good at the editing and the creating and the and the the, the, the whole product 
but I might not be perfect with the whole pushing of views and subscribers so I've been on YouTube for that long and I've never had another channel before so yeah that's the question to it where do I where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in the next five years okay in the next five years I see myself reaching 1 million subscribers <laughs> crazy hey eh? no seriously um, in the next five years I see my YouTube growing you know having more subscribers or news uh, views and having different type of content inside you know like have, at least i must reach at least like not to degrade myself but at least 10k subscribers to to be honest if not more than 10k subscribers like i really don't want to give myself that high hopes because i'm still learning in this field right and i'm still trying my best and i hope that with all the knowledge that i'm getting from this channel and everything that i'm learning with it i mean there's no day you should not stop learning i wish to see myself with more than 10k subscribers full great engagement and probably with more content maybe food um more traveling more diys more tutorials and even have you got features with other youtubers you know people who can be part of my channel we can engage and you know not just being me you know also meet other people if you meeting other people on my channel also me meeting other people on youtube you know and i see myself career wise better like because the field that i'm in that i'm working in and what i'm doing is the same so if I could grow in both aspects it would be great at a higher position doing basically doing social media promotion for other people as well you know like growing my own channel and my own products so that I can also grow other people's channels and other platforms I don't just want to be behind the decks but I also be want on to be in front you know that she has really good followers on, on youtube subscribers and on s social media platforms she can also do it for you so i i, I want to do that for like you know so in the next five years i want to see myself not only being a content creator a digital com content creator but also as a digital promoter marketer businesswoman you know so that's how i see myself at the next five years as a small digital communicator or marketer or promoter or a youtube channel owner yeah so i am going to continue fighting until i get where i feel like it's acceptable for me to grow you know like yay she has started as small she almost gave up but now look at her you know i want to be those type of people but i forgot to turn off the phone Hi. so another question is what message are you trying to get across with your videos okay so with all the videos that i have i think or oh, i basically believe that my content focuses on affordability being a girl on a budget you know traveling on a budget looking good on a budget living on a budget trying to accumulate more um finances and more streams of income you know as a woman especially as a black woman but black woman as in general so i am trying to make sure that my channel is not exotic you know like or luxurious i want it to be relatable and you know like people to just be like you know she 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 referred to a lot of places that i can afford things you know getting a wig a front tile look at dragon city or go china city at affordable price buy things on tech a lot or mr prep prep home living on a proper budget 
and having to get everything that you want as a lady at an affordable budget so that's the message that i'm i'm trying to point across because i do holes that is affordable i i get i try my best to do clothing and re so just things i want to do again like reamping clothes old clothes to looking more pretty and nicer and having to yeah like basically to be in your budget not to ex like oh exhaust your money or go over above but also like travel content on a budget you know like you travel to places where i know that you can go there for 50 rand 100 rand and still go to the previous and better places that you can ever been and still look rich if that's the aim that most women aim for but my aim is for you to just be like if i need a places to go on a budget i'm your girl i'm your girl so that you can have a great time in this economy the way it is because all over we are struggling we are all encouraged not to leave our jobs because of what happened during COVID 19 the economic recession and we are all trying to get back on our feet and i want to be one of the people that help people to get back on their feet so that's the message that i'm trying to put across my channel another one um do people from school find your channel i don't know seriously i do not know because there's few people that i still engage from with from school if you're talking about my school like when i was like my varsity and primary and tertiary school mates if you're talking about them i don't know but i i think that if people who are going to school they do find my channel because i have a lot of following not extreme following i like i got 15 plus followers on instagram twitter's 2k um or x a thread is 1k facebook is 6 point something k so yeah i feel like my content is broad and I, like again i'm i'm a girl who's doing content affordability not only for people who are working but also for people who are going to school um or people who are hustling so i'm trying my best to make sure my content relates to all of them so i do think there are people from school who do get my channel but if you're talking about the people from my school i have no idea because most of my tertiary um mates are on my social media so maybe they do watch maybe they do find it but they don't watch it i don't know but they should i i i push my 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 videos a lot okay so the other question is what does your username mean okay that is completely simple my username is actually my real name and surname creasy is a nickname that i was given by my former lecturer while i was still doing my first qualification in varsity she i was the top student i graduated with cum laude so yeah so i was one of her favorite students she gave me the name creasy afterwards like a, a nickname from crystal so from that then i actually like creasy and a lot of people started calling me creasy because of her calling me creasy so a lot of people thought creasy was my real name was actually not it's actually my nickname that derives from crystal so crystal put is my actual name and surname i know my mother just was so in love with her daughter she decided to name me crystal um i want to do kind of like a story time about my whole entire life and how my mother came to name me in fact i feel like i should include her in that you know why did she decide to name me crystal and all my other names but crystal is my real name and pretty's my real surname and chris is just a nickname 
Describe your your YouTube content in one sentence. How am I going to answer that again in one sentence? Living a life on a budget. <laughs> I think that's the best life I can give. Because like I'm saying, like my channel lives on affordability. Trying to make sure that everybody can get everything on an affordable scale without killing a budget. So I feel like I should just say... Living your life on everything and anything on your budget. Because I feel like on YouTube, most of us have a lot of financial advices, which I'm not going to be one. I'm definitely not going to be one. But I can be the person that directs you to places or to sites or websites that you can actually get things on a budget and live your life on an affordable budget and scale, right? So for me to be a self... Uh, appointed financial advisor is just gonna put me in a necessary position that's gonna cause me headache but i can just show you places like if you need clothes i can show you apps like yellow sub trading or small street marava start or china more or you know places you can buy things at a lower price then for me to give you financial advice because i wasn't like i was good with maths but i wasn't extremely good with it so i was bad with accounting specifically but with basic maths maybe i can help you i can tell you that that is 39.99 and that's 45.95 but i wouldn't give you deep advice on what to buy and what you shouldn't buy but for me, I'm just going to stick on to giving you places and where you can get things and travel and get things on an affordable budget and live your life on an affordable budget and tutorials and how to save and recycle because I also recycle. So, you see, it's all about saving and living in your needs and in your means, okay? How many objects is your tripod made of? Okay, so I have two tripods. I think I'll just sh uh, put a screenshot of the two. I have two um, tripods. One is extremely tall with the lighting. I hardly use it due to the space in my room. And then I also have a small tripod, but it's not steady. So I can say the first tripod has about, um, it has a ring light. <laughs> That's one. It has what holds the phone to, <laughs> and then there's the legs and then there's the stick and then there's the screws. So, you know, you can count how many are there, but it should not have so many parts. It's more than 10, not more than 10 parts so um i don't know how many objects are there but we have the screws we have the legs we have the stand we have the ring light and then we have the cell phone stand then we have the tripod the mini tripod um it has the legs it has also holds the stand and then holds the stick yeah but right now i'm not using it right now i have just placed my phone on top of a box and balanced it with another box because wow when you're living in a small space you gotta make things work and then how many pennies have you made in the last 20 days so how many pennies we don't do pennies in south africa we do rands and cents I've made nothing from YouTube so far. Literally nothing. I haven't monetized yet. I'm still I'm still at an extremely small level of YouTube. I haven't made nothing at all. But I hope to make many. Another one. 
Which window do you film in front of? That one. The one that's giving me the light. So I'm give I film in front of my side bed um window. Literally just there. Let me give you that's the questions you guys are asking us. You're gonna get us into security violations. That is the window that I'm using for my room. It has a perfect light as you see and my curtains are put in the middle to make sure that the sunlight gets in but nobody sees inside of the room while I'm filming. But that is the window that I'm using to film the most. It's the biggest and it brings the most light in the room. Other question. The okay, the other question is that what inspires you to keep making videos when you haven't you haven't found success yet you see this is a couple questions that make us think too, a lot what aspires you to keep making videos even when you haven't found success yet faith faith that tomorrow there will be people who will find my channel and they will actually relate to what i'm doing like other small youtubers they will actually like the content that i'm doing or even people who have a higher youtube channel and see potential in mine youtube i feel like that will happen because i used to have the same thing with my instagram and my other social media platforms i was really small and i had faith that one day i would just reach a lot of followers and and i actually did you know i was able to reach a lot a lot a lot lot of followers and i feel the same with youtube i feel that if i yes i can take a break from the exhaustion of trying to grow my channels but i feel like i can also learn that patience is a virtue and i will grow just like all the other youtubers who started i don't believe that they started off exactly hi hi i feel like they also went through the same trials and tribulations that i went through to start the youtube they went to do sub for sub they they did drastic things to grow the youtube so i feel like i'm also going to go through that journey as well to get to where they are i mean it's all about time and patience and having to wait for the right time that your channel is also going to blow up you know everybody has time i um i got a lot of people on tiktok and i wasn't expecting to grow that much so i feel like with also youtube i will also go that far in life the sun is disappearing slowly by surely and i will return to my normal position <laughs> and then the other one is that what which video are you most proud of the video that I'm most proud of in my channel will be Get to Know Me. Um, I've said a lot of things in that video that I wouldn't say to a normal person that knows me. Maybe because I feel like I'll be oversharing a lot. So with Get to Know Me, I've said a lot of things that I'm like, yeah, well, if you want to use that against me, use that against me. But... It's something that I wanted people to know, you know, people to know a lot about me. Um, yeah, be exposed to the real person who I am. So for me, it was the best channel for me and the best video for me at that time. And I really love it a lot, extremely a lot. Best, best for me. And yeah. And who are your favorite YouTubers? So, since the light is gone, <laughs> I'll just feel like this. But to be honest, um, my favorite YouTubers, I'm going to start like this. Rissa and Kwan. Diera Taylor. Miss Charlie, Di Marseille. Miss Exo. Oh, small stuff. Tato Fox. Tata Fox. Um, we also going to Mpumili Dwaba. Miss Mpumili Dwaba. Um, 
much other celebrities do I like? Oh, Trisha, Trisha and Cam. Um, all the YouTubers that I look at the most. Um, so far, those are my favorite YouTubers that I love. I know there is one that I recently discovered. I, it's just I can't get my name off her. But yeah, those are my favorite YouTubers. And mm, oh yeah, non non to I think it's Bumili Dawa's little sister. Um, yo, there's a lot. There's extremely a lot of um favorite YouTubers. I want you guys to understand this one. I love Sayun Bougie's content because that girl is real. I know she's younger than me, that doesn't matter. But that girl is real. And I know it's wrong for me to be like, oh my god, Sayun Bougie, but because she's so controversial, but Sayun Bougie is also one of my favorite YouTubers. I know. So real. And then another one is, what video would you create if you had unlimited budget? Think big. The first video that I will make, if I had unlimited budget, one. All houses that cost more than billion dollars. I love houses. I love household items. I love cleaning household house. I love, I just love everything that got to do with houses. So if I had unlimited budget, definitely videos about houses would be the one. Would be the one. I know people will be like, you love travel content. Why don't you go and be like the best expensive places to go in the world but i just love houses i would love videos all about um uh places to go but if it i would be to the houses even it meant a boat a boat as a house i would also want to block that places to stay you know millions places to stay if there's a house in space, I would want to block that. That would definitely defeat Mr. Beast. <laughs> His videos. I really want, like, those type of things. Type content. Places. Or, like, yeah. And then the second one would be um, places. Like, most expensive places to go. For vacation. Yeah, so those are my favorite. That is the type of the places I will go for. And then my other question is, how much do you spend on YouTube every day? Hmm. I don't think I spend a lot unless we're including data for uploading videos. Yeah, then maybe that would be like 60 bucks, 60 rand per data that I'm buying and uploading um so yeah it'll be 60 rand because i'm using my phone to to record but if you mean like traveling to places obviously we plus minus two thousand if not more like yeah it tends to be that much really really that much so i would actually like not go overboard because whatever i buy it's within my budget and um, whatever i go over above it's within my budget so i will have like a standard um amount that i will have to spend this much and that's what i'm gonna spend so yeah i don't spend more than uh, three thousand specifically if it means traveling buying items and that would be things that i actually want not a matter of just making a youtube but things that i buy and 
I think that people have the same interest as me. So those are the type of things that I will be buying for my channel and for you guys. So I'm just saying not more than three thousand. Best thing about YouTube. Best thing about YouTube that has allowed us to voice our voices. I mean, where, what other platform can I pay get get paid to to upload a video about my lifestyle, about places where to go, and get paid for it? You know, I think there are other platforms, but I feel like YouTube is the best. We are all majority of the time we are all encouraged to um you know, oh my god my books at the back um I, do that. I feel like most of us are mostly encouraged to use youtube as our another source of income so youtube the best thing about it is that you can upload and get money with it and including your shorts like what other platform can you get paid to to get shorts as a normal person not just a celebrity or uh or top high influencer get me so youtube is another platform of investment that we should look at as you specifically you know and then how how much time do you spend on youtube every day y'all i probably spend like 16 hours because on other times it's work that's why i'm on there the other one it's on my stuff you know and also me finding looking at videos what i could post in in common with other people's youtubers and what i should bring so i definitely feel like it's 16 hours because I, I was you be sleeping traveling walking going somewhere places but i it's generally like 16 hours worst thing about youtube copyright the worst thing about youtube is copyright yo if y'all could tell me that you have never uploaded a video and then got a copy strike copyright strike you blessed copyright is like one of the worst and then the other worst thing about youtube is adverts that people don't want to watch and you need to monetize from that and i've seen a lot of youtubers i'm still a small youtuber but when i watch other youtube channels and i see a, a video like an advert and i'm like I can't go anywhere. It's midnight and I'm watching your channel. I want to support you. But the advert that they placed on your video got nothing to do with the video uploaded. And it's. So if I'm doing a video about traveling, they should show um, travel agencies for people and at the affordable places or um, things that you search for on your Google. They should show it as adverts on your channels not things that like monday.com like maybe because of work but it should show on my youtube work platform sorry but i'm being honest so guys i love dogs so the dog is barking outside please bear with the dog it also wants to be part of the channel but another thing is that the worst thing about youtube is the adverts and the type of adverts and extremely long adverts you get me i mean also when you go on tv and you see an advert that is extremely long don't you like Ch change the channel exactly so it's one and the same thing so i'm just fighting for my fellow youtubers um to be like change the type of videos or type of adverts you're putting on our videos yeah 
another one which software i do you use for editing okay so i use vn video editor and splice and the phone itself i'm using i have an iphone 14 and then i also have a samsung galaxy a12 so both of the phones have their own features but i also use this apps um at at bob um i do use it but not as much but the the two popular ones that i like is vn and splice i am open to exploring more but yeah for now i'm just using those ones and then for my thumbnails i'm using canva and then for any other edits like people like spongebob later or something i i use filmora i'll just put them here so you can see all of them so i use canva for thumbnails filmora for just those small clips that you get in the video and then i also use vn to edit like to you know cut trim edit lights no lights splice also the same thing and then also music and all that yeah so those are the, the apps that i use and the softwares that i'm using which camera do you use to record the videos i am using both of my phones um, I don't have specifically a camera. I am hoping to buy a Canon camera. But right now I'm still using my phones. To record and everything. And yeah. I feel like right now when you're still starting on YouTube. And you're not earning as much. You should try using your phones. I like buying a camera. And then still not getting the views and the subscribers that you want. So those are the things that I uses my camera as my phone my iphone and my son as my cameras and then finally the most important question this will probably take like 20 minutes for me to answer why should anyone subscribe to my channel why should anybody subscribe to your channel so firstly i'm begging you guys to please subscribe to my channel that's the first thing i'm asking you guys to do please subscribe to my channel please but the other reason why i would love for people to subscribe to my channel is one i have relatable content i'm just as good as any other youtuber but i am affordable and i can help you find information that is relevant to you and secondly i'm an upcoming subscriber you know and i feel that everybody should be given a platform to showcase their work for growth and the minute you continue you subscribe to a person or you you keep watching somebody's content you end up being like you know what i watched you grow i was there through investment you know I can help your channel go or your friends channels grow so for me it is all about i'm begging y'all secondly it's because i am any other youtuber coming with new information and new content and new information is great for everyone and anybody else to come thirdly i do relatable videos it's not fake i can't i won't do anything fake i will not buy a mercedes Benz for nobody i will make it relatable as possible for you and i will try my best to make sure the information that i have helps you in every way possible i don't want to mislead any of y'all i don't want to lie to all of y'all i just want to make sure that you guys relate to the information that is given to y'all and you get it another one is that i am plus size and I'm all about body positivity. So if you have like experience of body shaming or you're overweight apparently. Or you think that you're obese or you're plus size. I am your girl. I will make more videos about plus size women. What type of things that we relate to. What clothes you can wear. And not only for plus size but also 
for my sisters with a smaller body you know like you can also come to the stores that we also buy to like also love each other and start competing with us with our bodies so this problem will also not only be about affordability but also about loving each other so there's another thing that i want i want people to understand about this channel the other reason that I, um, people subscribe to my channel is that i'm a south african youtuber so you also be looking at not only the luxurious part of other youtubers will be showing you going to dubai going to conga all these places and center but i want you guys to all to see the gussy part of south africa like we call it gussy it's kind of like the rural parts the township parts of africa you know to see the the actual truth of how we live where we stay what we deal with the, the, the actual people so you also see another part of south africa and what we are experiencing especially towards the elections this year and so it's all about relatability you know what we are as south africans what we are living for and what you go through not everybody in south africa lives on the on the on the on the blue coast side cape town with breezing it's blue water and sand some of us actually live in areas where you pay to swim at a local pool in the Kasi, where you hear trains by your house where you hear a neighbor's dog's bark or you even see police officers roaming like the way they do in the hoods you also experience such things in south africa so it's another part of me um exposing not of exposing but or let me say exposing y'all to the different parts of our country so it's another reason why you subscribe to my channel is to know everything about africa and more so this is me just saying that guys we are all new we are all discovering new things and y'all subscribing to our channels you are bringing all the greatness into us and growing our channels and i feel like i should do more q a's about this but not that long but enough for you guys to relate you know so that's my journey and all the questions to all being a small youtuber and how it has been as a small youtuber and i feel like i was in life i will stop being a small youtuber and be a major youtuber and i can all do it with you guys through subscribing liking and commenting and pushing the notification button on this video and i want to say i love y'all please continue to tune into my videos and commenting and everything i will support y'all even when you don't and i will support you even if you do love y'all and have a good night